Now, you, you've got a bunch of potatoes cut up there, Jan. I do have a bunch of potatoes, and that was one of the things I, I wanted to talk about. You know, normally when I'm cooking for my family, I don't peel potatoes. Yes. And I will do my own. We'll show you in a minute how I do my own, but I cut them in wedges. Yes. It's simpler, it's faster, and there's no waste. Yes. But if you want a traditional fry. French fry shape, then go ahead and cut the little strips. Yeah. So all I'm doing. And you doing, cut them into a block, and then cut the block into little strips. That's right. And so these just get, you know, drizzle these with olive oil. Yes. And then we're going to give them a little bit of salt. Yes. Toss them up. And I've got, well, my salt won't come out. I've got a 450 degree oven back here. Okay. All because right? basically you're going to roast these potatoes. That's right. And so we're going to move this and come over here. Mm -hmm. And we've got some butter that mm -hmm. we've melted on the stove. And we're going to add mm -hmm. a couple of cloves of garlic. Okay. And we're going to. I think we got a. What's chopped in with that garlic? It's a little bit of parsley that ended Ooh. up in there. You're not you supposed see? to notice that yet. Well, I'm very observant. That's one of my strong suits. <laughs> well, you're going to roast your potatoes for about 20 minutes. You're going to okay. flip them halfway through. Yes. And then when they come out, mm -hmm. we are going to drizzle those with our garlic butter. Okay. And sprinkle the rest of our parsley. All right. Okay, so we toss those together. And, and we should be very careful not to burn the garlic. Because burned garlic is awful. That's right. And so you toss your potatoes with the garlic butter. I, I'm not implying that Jan burned garlic <coughs> earlier because she did not. I did not. No. And then a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Okay. And that's all there is to that one. But this is so wonderfully simple. It is, while it's got a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter. Not much. Not much. So much less than you'd have if you actually French fried them. Right. Or fried them in the butter. Yeah. And this has just all sorts of good flavor. Great side dish. Absolutely. Uh, and like I said earlier, it's incredibly inexpensive. That's that doesn't hurt a bit either. Nope. To, to uh, well, let me tell you something. Yes. I love this idea, <laughs> uh, except I'm going to make one change with it because right. you know me, I never can leave anything alone. I'm going to do it with little red potatoes and cut them into quarters or wedges, depending on how big they are because the texture of them is so good when they're roasted like this. Absolutely. And I will let you do that because that would be fabulous. Well, well, thank you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> uh, folks, you need to get this recipe. Uh, go to Chef's Recipe, 6450 Paper Mill Drive, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37919, sending a self-addressed stamped envelope, or go to local8now.com and get it. It's posted. I've got about a half a bag of potatoes at home. I didn't know what to do with it. Now you I, know. Well, I never have the stuff that you cook. But today I do for some strange reason. <laughs> oh, good. About time. So I can do this. So you're bringing yeah. in fries tomorrow for yes. what you're saying. For, okay, for breakfast. Get ready yeah. for it. I'm okay with As that. you leave you this afternoon, a quick look in on the George W. Bush Library dedication. We'll have much more of this coming up today at 4 right here on Local 8 News.